Hello and welcome to Was It Worth Buying? Been on a roll today. I've filmed the Chef one, been traveling right around the Northeast. Friday the 13th one got done. And while I've been uploading the footage, a vinyl is spinning right there. Now, this vinyl got reissued this year on Record Store Day and it came as an expanded collection with free vinyls. But I was more than happy with this. For what it is, I'm loving it. Now, it's spinning away. We'll talk about it in a second. First up, it is the Matrix. And apologies, it's on the smaller camera. The lighting is, this is literally just a throwaway because I've got to upload this camera footage anyway. Now, again, the Matrix, the first, <clears throat> first ever picture disc of the Matrix and it'll be a very limited range for a while, which you'll see. Now this appeared on my channel as a phone video back in the day. Don Davis, um, music composed by. It's got some really good tracks, especially if you love the music, especially the way that the film pulls you into the movie. That they did, 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 did. That's probably a really bad and tone deaf cue tone gone. Anyway, as I say, a bit flimsy, but again, it's a picture disc, so the sound you're on that. So, is that goes up there? The picture disc is just the fallen. Um, break the code. So, it's pretty cool. Um, it's very heavy, this as well. There's no give with this whatsoever. Um, it's probably the thickest vinyl I own. As I say, the green on there spins away. And on the other side is Keanu Reeves shooting some bullets, you know. Bang, bang, you're dead. And funny enough, you want to talk about Keanu Reeves, I've just had a rant about Lake House as well. So Lake House, I am fan of Keanu Reeves. In interesting guy. Um, was it worth buying this for the price it was? I think it retails just over the £30 mark. Um, for a little run, yes. Um, as I say, the expanded score is out. I was lucky enough to get a hold of the Aliens one. Uh, but that was £30 so well. I have no idea how much it looked like a phone box, doesn't it? Because a lot of the Matrix ones, because there's the green vinyls, go for like 35 up to £40 for Reloaded and Revelations, which I'm not really interested in. I was interested in that because, again, I've got a lot of love for the Matrix, but as you're talking about tracks, um, main title, Trinity Infinity. Wow. <laughs> Track 2, uh, Unable to Speak. Track three, the power plant. Welcome to the real world and the hotel at ambush. Uh, on the flip side, exit Mr. Hat, a virus, bullet time, shock, and anything is possible. Um, so exactly, there's seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, maybe fifteen minutes of music on the flip side, and then four, six, eight. You're looking at 15, 30 minutes of music across the two. Um, there's one thing that I need to do first is grab the camera. Hello. Rickety, rickety, rickety. There's a massive problem with this. Whoever designed this got a slap. So it looks really nice that way. When you flip it down though, seen uh, from Dustal Dawn with Sex Machine, can you see where the problem's going to be here? Ready? Dun, dun, dun. There you go. Metal dick sticking right out of his crotch. It is so bad a design. So yeah, right in the middle of his dick. Couldn't be any more picture perfect, especially with the instruments he's got on his pants there as well. That was a problem the moment I got it. Um, it was worth buying. The price, design, floor. It's pretty cool, but you cannot unsee his metal penis. Um, but I do like the music. I would, if someone give us the expanded edition, I would listen to it, but yeah, it was worth buying. Um, it just could be a little bit longer. But yeah, see you in the outtakes. Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling? <laughs> dun, dun. So here in the outtakes, I'm going to listen to some music tonight before I do some more tape uploading as I do. Um, I'm going to try and start watching the animators. So yeah, that's the Matrix. Um, it normally gets lost in the filing with it not having um, any form of case, so it lives next to it lives next to Mad Max, um, Fury Road, and Mandy. I was actually listening to Mandy this morning. That's how I ended up on that. And because me and Carl um, did the podcast last night for Dream a Little Dream, and we talked about the soundtrack all the way through, I am actually going to listen to it now because unfortunately. Um, you know, when you do the podcast, you can't hear the music, so this was totally worth buying. And this is the most ranty, no fucking Keanu's penis there. Nice black vinyl. But thanks for watching this. Goodbye for now. 
Hello! I said it was over, but it wasn't. Last night was mental. Listened to quite a few soundtracks. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Um, Christ, there was a few. The Fog, amazing score. Rocky IV is playing now. Um, Christ, I listened to quite a few. Labyrinth was on. So I listened to quite a few vinyls last night while waiting. And then I found this tape. And it's an hour and 30 minutes of a night out, I don't remember. From a point of view that I didn't film. And it was just weird, but I had to chuck this in here at the very end of The Matrix. Um, remember buying this brand new, um, haven't rewound it, well done Stephen. Um, includes free making ofs. And actually, I actually, if you check out the August unboxing, I just recently got the uh, Matrix Super Edition, which I totally forgot about. Um, that's in better days, but cardboard fold out, very limited, six cents was done like this. Eddie Lizard was done like this. There's a few of these knocking around. Uh, I think um, Apocalypse Now was done. I fucking love it. I love it today and I thought it was a really good like throwback. Very Americana, how the Americans would have it. Um, and I think they just missed a trick there. Obviously on the shelf they're a little bit wider than the average uh, VHS, but I think that's absolutely cool that. It's a fucking light, if you know what I mean. So yeah, um, put this tight as out t-shirt on as well. Jaws, paws, well done Stephen. So yeah, that's it. Oh, the Exorcist. Got the Exorcist there. It's just sitting on the shelf here. And I believe this Exorcist. No, it's not. It is. It's the Exorcist never been opened. That's why it's on the shelf like that. You know what I mean? It's a crime on a VHS. Never sees the light of day. I've got a few. And um, Pulp Fiction's one, which you can kind of like go, but I think the rarest one I've got is Fast Getaway with Corey Hamm. It's just like still sealed. It's like whoa. <laughs> I got something else recently as well. It was still sealed. Uh, again, when something's still sealed, factory seals, you're like, what the fuck? Glitch in the Matrix. Thanks for watching.